Okay, so this is my siphon. All it is, just a piece of vinyl tubing, so you don't really have to do anything special. I'm just gonna open the tank, put one into the water. You're gonna start it the incorrect way. You're not actually supposed to use your mouth. Girl, what that mouth do? Don't do that. It's too late. I'm just gonna have a piece of sponge that I use just to scrub walls. And that's all it is. Like the water's draining into the bucket. I'm gonna take the end of the siphon, go around, vacuum some poop up. Getting all these little nooks and crannies. The siphon, if you have loose sand, you just gotta be careful you don't suck the sand up. Don't suck the sand. Where's my hand? How can you not see your own fucking hand? It's, it's, the water is distorted. These fish are pretty used to water changes, so you really don't have to worry about accidentally sucking them up. I just uprooted a plant. Oopsies. Don't uproot the plants. <laughs> That's a dead rhizome, but there is a baby, couple baby plants sticking off the end of it. I'm just going to take the baby plants and replant them. Riveting. This is basically all water changes. I'm just going to drain the tank, use the lid to hold it in place, uh, let me scoop that up. This bucket's getting kind of full, so I'm going to switch it to this bucket. If I can find the end of this, I can block it. Now normally with this tank that's only 20 gallons, I'll usually only drain about 8 gallons of water. Mm. So 5 gallon buckets are your friends. simple. trick you can do with the siphon is just to, uh, no, don't go near it, fish. Don't go near it, fish. This is just to keep, the, where, however far you want to drain the tank, just keep the end of your hose there, and it'll only drain that far. You want me to stop recording now? Oh, you gotta fill the tank back up, or at least get this started to fill. No, get away from the end of the fucking hose, you goddamn fucking morons. going to dump the water into the sink. Uh, I have a hose that I attach to my sink that goes to the tank and that's why I fill it back up again. All I got to do is just match the temperatures. I have a water conditioner that I put in to make sure the water is safe. If you're in town, you're going to need a water conditioner. And that's pretty much all water changes. Very simple. Drain the tank and fill it back up again.